everyone, and welcome back to the Joshua Coverson Show. This is episode 98, and for our special guest today, she graduated from Pamico High School in 2006. She went on and got her college degree from Pamico Community College, where she graduated from there in 2012. And now, ever since last year, she's been running her own business called Farmers of Love, where she makes the best desserts, hands down, in Craven County. I'm talking funnel cakes, cheesecakes, fried Oreos, fried honey buns, Twinkies, Snickers, whatever you want, it's on her truck, I promise you. She makes the best desserts. My special guest for today, Latanya Bryant. How you doing today? Good, thank you. Yes, ma'am. So tell the world how, how you been, you know, um, with COVID and all this craziness going on. How, how have you and your family been? We all been good. Um, we ended up getting COVID, but everybody was fine from it. Like, okay. we was out for a couple of weeks, but we bounced back. So no no major good. impacts from No it. major impacts at all. Yes, ma'am. So. Did you grow up in Pamlico? Yes, originally from Pamlico, but my family is from Tuscarora. Ooh. Yeah, so I was born and raised in Pamlico County, went to school down there for some years, came to New Bern, went to school some years, and then I went back to Pamlico. Ooh, so how, how, how you how you like moving around? So what, so matter of fact, hold on, was it challenging moving around as a kid as far as, like you said, you bounced from Pamlico, then you bounced in Tuscarora, New no, Bern? No, it was not that. challenging at all. It wasn't, it wasn't challenging. It wasn't challenging making new friends or? No. I know you had to change. You had to change schools. I did have to change schools, so I went to Pamlico and then I went to West Craven. Then I went back to Pamlico. And it, never, it wasn't a challenge at all. It wasn't because a lot of people at West Craven were my cousins. Oh, so you so got like family, family down here? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, so everybody was family, so it was. It was fine. Okay, that's a fact. That's a fact. So, any brothers and sisters? Yes. Yeah, so I have two older sisters and a younger brother. One sister in California, one in Raleigh, and my brother is in Florida. Oh, so nobody lived down here. It's just you down here. <laughs> it's just me and the kids with my mama. That's it. That's a fact. Y'all keep up with yeah. each other? Yes, we do. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah. That's a fact. So growing up, how was it like? What Was you always into cooking? Was it was it something that you watched your mom, grandmama do? Or was it something that you just inherited on your own? Um, It actually came from my son. He's eight now, but he was six at the time. Oh, so. wait, wait, wait. What? Yeah, yeah. The inspiration from cooking came from your son. My son. He told me, so every Sunday we would do funnel cake Sundays, and um, he was like, ooh, Ma, these are good. You should start selling them. So I kind of, I was listening, but I kind of like, okay. Boy, you're a kid, boy. Right, you're right, talking. right. <laughs> but he kept saying it, so I was like, okay. So I started writing the stuff down, you know, and we just ran off with it. And ever since I left my job and started doing funnel cakes, everything has been blooming. Ho, 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 now, ho, now. I'm learning something now. So, you started making funnel cakes on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Your son tells you to start selling them. Uh -huh. You start selling them. Mm -hmm. You leave your job. Left my government job. I was working at Social Security. Well, you know you're going to get a, a, a short <laughs> paycheck every week, every two weeks. You know that money coming in. Yep. You left your job yep. and started. Tell yep. me, mm -hmm. how, how, how are you feeling? How, how was that moment? It was scary. Um... You know, everything, I mean, you taking a leap of faith and you just don't know how it's going to be. You don't know if you're going to succeed or not or, or yeah. fail, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And then on top of that, you got three kids at home that you got to take care of. So it's like, you just got to trust and believe in God. You got to have that, what's that, uh, faith the size of a mustard seed. That, you have yes, your faith and you can take off a room or whatever. You quit your job. <laughs> so... Yeah. The, the, the week before, t t tell me your mind process because I'm, I'm I'm very interested. Now, the week before, I know you kind of telling yourself like, all right, man, I, I'm going to quit, but should I? Or, yeah, I know you kind of bouncing back, back and, and forth. forth. Yeah. I mean, I was like, I'm going to quit my job. Like, okay, Lord, like, this is it. I'm writing my two weeks notice. I'm turning it in, and this is just going to be it. Any advice from other people that you had to go to? Maybe? Um, No. Nope, so, I think I just told my mom about it. And she was like, you know, if that's what you want to do, then go ahead. Everybody was behind me. Um, even was, my coworkers. Well, not one person telling you, hey, you might need to keep that job. Nope. I can't remember anybody telling me that. That's a fact. Yep. So everybody just was behind you saying, hey, yeah. this is a great idea. You need to go ahead and take off. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. So, so before I go on. What advice would you give to that person? That person right now that's that's that want to start their own business, but they got a job 
that got that for sure money coming in. They kind of scared to leave that to to throw themselves out there. What advice would you give that person? I would definitely write it down. Write down everything that you want to do, everything that needs to be, everything you need for that business. Write that business plan. Have that business plan. Write it out um, before you take that leap of faith and do it. Don't be scared. Even if you fail, get back up and just go do it again. So when was when was that moment where you knew you had it? Well, like like that day on the truck maybe, or 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 selling at your mom's house. Like what was that? What was that day? Was that moment where you like, all right, this is it. I got it. I'm I'm, I'm good at this. Um, that probably just hit me this year. It took me some months to get there. It took you months? Yeah, it took me some months to get her. No, nah, I don't I, I, Hey, she might be lying to y'all. I went to her before months. Her, her stuff been already phenomenal. Yeah, but, you know, people are still learning about Funnels of Love. Yes, ma'am. I still got people coming to me um, who, where have y'all been at? You know, when did this business start? They don't know hey, about yes, them. Yes, ma'am. don't know about us. So, um, I probably had a customer. I done a big event. And I had an issue going on, and I had a customer who sat outside and was like, I don't care how long it takes, I'm going to sit right here and wait for your stuff. And what? that's when it hit me like, oh, you got some good stuff. You got some a good product. You had a customer. Yes. Wait outside. Yeah. I can show you a picture when we get done. He just it. waited. He just sat in his child stroller and just waited. Like, I don't care how long it I takes. I don't care how long it waits. And it took like 45 minutes. And he sat there. The whole 45. The whole 45 minutes. And guess what he wanted? Them fried oil. Fry oil. <laughs> he, he, he want my favorite, them fried oils, boy. Yeah. Them things on a thousand. I'm trying to tell you. He said, waiting for some fried oils. That's it. I would have waited too. Boy, you, you smart, man. I'm trying yep. to tell you. Yep. So, getting the truck, mm -hmm. getting up there. What was it like? Like, what was it? That, is that was that moment fulfilling? Was that a fulfilling moment in your life? Saying, "Okay, I had to take the leap of faith. I quit my job. I was working at my mom's house, but now it's, I got. I finally got the truck." Like, what was that moment um, like? And, and, and tell me, what was the process like? Because you first said you working at your mom's house. Mm -hmm. So, so it, I started at my mom's house, and I just kind of posted on Facebook trying to sell stuff. Um, after that, I actually went to a tent. Um, I started like in May, just doing them at my mom's house. Somebody reached out to me to do a softball game or something. And I started doing them out of a tent. Under a tent. So I started having people come to me uh, when I was doing them in a tent. And we done that for uh, maybe about five months. And then I got the first truck. Ho, 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 ho. Y'all didn't hear that word. <laughs> Y'all ain't, ain't hear that word. First. First. That means there's another behind it. Yeah. Let's keep going. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. so I got the first truck in November. Um, and then we got the second one, I think around April or May of this year. Yep. I'm asking you the feeling of one truck, but what's the feeling <laughs> of having two trucks? <laughs> yeah, so it's um it's been great though. It's been great. Business is great. We're like double booked on the weekends, booked almost every day during the week. So that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's a blessing. That it's a going blessing. right. I'm not gonna lie, it's a blessing. Dad going right. So having two trucks, talk about running a staff. You I know I know you 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 phenomenal woman, but you, but you can't but you can't run it all by yourself. No, you can't. Yeah, you got two trucks. <sighs> Business is booming! <laughs> two trucks. Um, Tell, talk to me about your staff, your help. How how do how do you how do you bring your team together? Um, it's mostly family. My daughter, who's 16, and my mom run one truck. And then me and my best friend, Myron, run my other truck. Then I have another um, two people that also work on the other. Myron, the candy apple man, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, I got to get you up here, man. <laughs> just let you know, you came out, your candy apple's a banger too, man. Yeah, so, yep. so that's just staff? Yeah, that's it. All family? All family, yeah. So you, you ain't never have to sit down with yourself or some of your family members and be like, hey, we might need some more help. We might we might need to hire um, this or that or... We haven't gotten to that point. We're uh -oh. going to get there. We're going to get there because I, I definitely need help. Dad going right. Yeah. Ben is booming two trucks, man. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, hopefully, hopefully next year we have another one. Yep. 
Ho, 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 
and then I start mixing my stuff maybe around two o'clock and then we head out around three four o'clock head now <laughs> yeah I, tell you, I got a lot of questions for you head now okay how do you get these vendor slash location set like one day it's in Pamlico, the next day you're in Swansboro, the next day you're in Moorhead City. Like, how is this contacting businesses, putting yourself out there? How does that work? Um, honestly, everybody contacts me. Majority of the people contact Stop me. Stop it! I'm not lying to you. The only time I contact places is when I go set up at um, my friends in James City at the garage. Or if I call and I ask Staples, can I set up there? But if it's like schools or... Um, festivals and stuff like that most of the time it's people contacting me sending me emails <laughs> yeah so <laughs> being is booming baby this is definitely booming that's what i'm talking yeah. about yeah. how does that how did that first call feel because you said you've been you're coming out your mom's house yeah phones of love and your son he's giving you that inspiration like mom this is what it is right. so when you get that inspiration from your son and you finally out there doing it you put yourself out there how does it feel to get that first call and be like hey this is what I want done. I know you're doing this. I know you make funnel cakes or probably mm -hmm. I want this order made. How did that? Um, it felt good because I don't know. It's just like it's something you're building and and they want it. You know what I'm saying? Fact. They want you. They want you to come to them. So it felt real good. That's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. So is your son ever like, well, mom? I got you into this now. <laughs> <laughs> he tells me all the time that he's the boss. That, that, that's he's right. the boss. He runs everything. And I'm just like, okay, son, you do. I just agree with I him. Just, <laughs> I just agree with him. Like, you can have whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. You the one that gave me this yep. inspiration yep. to get it done. That's you right. Gave me, gave me the vision. So, yeah. That's a fact. So, I know you got a third truck. Like, what, what's else next, though? Like, a, a, third, a third truck. You already um, got two. I don't even want to get out there. I wouldn't ask you what's next, but a third, a third. <laughs> see, I'm asking her what's next, and she already told me a, a third. She already gave yeah, me Yeah, I, I already got told you the third, so uh, you'll just have to see. <laughs> don't do me like that. <laughs> you just gonna have to see. You just gotta, you just gotta wait and see. Come on, man! Don't do me like that, yeah, man. You, you just gotta wait and see. Oh, hoo -hoo. Yeah. I know she got something big in store for y'all. Yeah. One last question. Okay. If it's any dessert right now that's not on your menu. That I can suggest to be up there. What would it be? Uh, or if anybody could suggest that you that you don't have up there now, but kind of like you would want up there too. That's not um, up there. Well, I would say the one that I had up there before, which was the red velvet. I want to go back and make sure my ingredients are right on that, and we'll probably be coming out with it. So that ain't. Red so, that's, so that's the first time thing that you went and I it did didn't it, work but or, I didn't. I didn't like how the ingredients were mixing together. Like it wasn't, the taste wasn't there. But, so I'm gonna go back and we're gonna play around with it. You gonna do it again? And I'm gonna do it again. Now I was gonna let you go, but I gotta ask one more question because <laughs> <What? laughs> I, I need to know this now. Because as a trainer, if sometimes you get out there, you feel like, oh maybe I'm not doing enough, mm -hmm. or maybe. Maybe I need to go back and with this kid and work on this over again. So if there's ever, other than the real baby, have there ever been other times where you put something out there and you thought back and like, man, this ain't working. This ain't working like I thought it was. Like maybe I need to stop it and maybe do it again another time. Like is it other than the real baby? Has there ever been other desserts? Um, my fried pickles and my fried um my funnel cake fries. Funnel cake fries. Yeah, we've been trying funnel cake fries like on the low. Um, but they just ain't been coming. They just look real. They ain't working right now. <laughs> they, not, they not looking. They not looking good right now. Funnel I mean, they taste fries. good. It's just they just real big. Yeah. I don't, and you want it to be? Yeah, I want it to be right. And fried pickles. And fried pickles. Now, what happened with the fried pickles? Um, at first I was doing the pickle chips, like the little, the little, uh, like little just, uh, circles and stuff. But now I think I'm gonna do the strip. Oh. Dip them in batter and fry them. So this kind of situation is like a little expansion. Yeah. Like you tried a little chip. Yeah, but I'm kind of move to something else. Okay. Yeah. That's going right. And tell the people where they can locate you at, where they can reach you, the number. Woo. Every yes, ma'am. Y'all um, better help. And the best desserts in Craven County. <laughs> um, if you can, please go and like, follow, and share Funnels of Love on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. 
Um, we are located at 252-649-5802. But if you find us, um, if you follow us on Facebook, you can see all of our locations. We update daily, if not um, every other day, we are always updating our location. The best desserts in Craven <laughs> County, man. And it's a variety of them. Fried honey bun, Snickers, Twinkie, cheese funnel cake, cake, cheesecake, yep. fried oil. Man, we out. I'm telling y'all. It's the, the best in the world. We out. Thank you, everyone, for watching the Joshua Cumberson Show. I appreciate your love and support. Continue to show your love and support by clicking the subscribe button below the video. Tune in to next week's episode of the Joshua Cumberson Show. Love, peace, we out.